In PT Distinction, you can set up pre-made packages to give away or to sell on your website. Now, this is brilliant for things like free trials or sample programs or challenges or any package that you want to sell to a large number of people and have an automated sign up. There's a lot of flexibility with these and a lot of options you can do to create really, really, truly fantastic coaching packages. So scroll down to set one up and click on pre-made packages. Then come up to add package and it gives you a little introduction. So every stage of this is a little bit of writing to tell you what to do and make it really, really simple, but it is a very easy setup. First of all, click on this sign by next for groups. Here you get to add people to your group. So when someone signs up via your website for your package, they get added immediately to a group and they get given the content in that group in exactly the way that you put it in the group and scheduled it in the group. There's a few options with this. You can add people immediately to a group, you can add them to the group on a date or on a day. And you can also add people who sign up to your package to as many groups as you like. So there's a lot of strong options with this one. And I'll give you a quick example. In this example, I may have an online challenge that starts on a Monday, but I want people to sign up whenever they like and get a welcome pack. So the first group I would select would be my welcome pack. And I would get clients to have that immediately. So click on add and that'll come in and you'll see that it's added immediately to clients accounts. Then I'll go and find my challenge group. So my online challenge and all of the content of my challenge will go to my clients accounts, but I want them to start on the Monday after they join. So I'll choose on day and I'll choose Monday after setup and add. So what will now happen when someone signs up via my website, they will immediately get my welcome pack and the Monday after they join, they get all the content for my online challenge. When I'm happy with the groups I'm adding people to and when they're being added to those groups, I'll click on next and remove from groups. So remove from groups allows you to set it so that when someone signs up for your pre-made package, they get removed from a different group. Now, an example of when you might use this is if you have people running in a free trial and then you sell them a paid package. So you might want people to be removed from a free trial when they buy your paid package and upgrade to your paid levels. So in this instance, you just come and choose your free trial and clients will get removed from the free trial and that content removed from their account as soon as they sign up for your package. Obviously, you don't have to use this. You only use it as an option if you want to. If you don't wish to use it, then just move on to the next phase. So under next, sell online. With sell online, there's a few different options. We believe the best ones to use are either with a sign up form or no payment. So the no payment option is brilliant if you're running free trials or free challenges or sample programs. And the with sign up form are brilliant if you're selling paid packages or paid challenges. You can also do it using PayPal buttons, which gives you the flexibility to sell first and then bring people into your package. There is also via PTD, and that's the easiest setup, but it only gives you a one-off payment rather than a subscription option, and it's done via the PT Distinction branded PayPal page. With this, the money will still go directly to you, but it doesn't have your branding and the flexibility of subscription payments. So for now, I'm going to show you payment with a sign-up form. Once you've completed your package and saved it, the code will come in here. The code in here is what you put into your website. You just copy and paste it in the same way you would have done your website integration. Then the sign up form will magically appear on your website for your clients to use. Now here's where you take the payment. Obviously, if you're using a free option, you won't have this box here, so there won't be the area to take payment. This, you just copy and paste the code for your PayPal button into here. So I'll quickly show you how to do that in PayPal. Inside PayPal, come up to Tools and then click on All Tools. Brings you into this page and you scroll down until you find PayPal Buttons. Click on PayPal Buttons and it will show you the PayPal buttons that you've previously set up. Under Action, choose View Code. And then you'll see the code of your PayPal button. Come down here to select the code and then copy it. You then bring that back into PT Distinction and paste it in here. 
So that is now the PayPal button integrated into your sign up form on your website. So with this method, clients will sign themselves up, giving you their email address and their password, setting up their account, and then they'll be taken directly to pay via this PayPal button. You can put any accompanying text you like with your PayPal button. So you could put the price of the package if you wish to. And then there's a few further options. You can pre-select the gender of your client. So that will take away the gender column in the form. If you want to pre-select and then change them back later, you can actually go into their account afterwards and change it. Otherwise, don't pre-select and your clients will put in their own gender in the form when they sign themselves up. You can also disable the login details email. In this method, clients will actually set up their own password and add in their own email address. So you don't need to automatically send them their login details. So you could just click that and that email will not go. There's another option for incomplete signups at the bottom. This is a good option. So if people go into your form and they put their name and email address in it, but they don't complete the sign up and make payment, you can add them as print only clients and follow up with quality email follow up to bring them in and complete their sign up. So you can take that option and then add them to a follow up group. So this might be an email group where you have messages scheduled to go out to your clients and to bring them back in or at least to keep them in your world and to keep them entertained and educated. Then when you're happy with everything you set up here, click on Create Vouchers. Create Vouchers allows you to create a voucher code that you can hand out to clients or face-to-face -face clients and give them free access. Now, most trainers won't use this, but you can create the vouchers if you wish to. Next bit is Advanced Options. On Advanced Options, you can set how long people pay you for. So you can leave the client's account online until further notice and that means you have manual ability to cancel their account or to leave it online or you can automatically set it to be put offline after a certain amount of time now this is the original setting so you can put them offline for example after five weeks from their initial sign up And then coming further down, this one will slightly override it. So you can extend their access on subscription payments. So that means if you set up a subscription payment and you set them to have five weeks of access originally, but their next payment goes out, you can extend their access for another five weeks. So every time they pay, their access will get extended. If they don't pay, then at the end of that five weeks, they will get cut off, turned into an offline client, which is free for you, and they will not be able to log in and sign up to your package. So those are great automated options to make sure that clients are paying to get access to your packages. Just down below, these are for if you set up voucher codes, you can add a sign up form that takes the voucher codes. As I say, most trainers won't set up the voucher code, so you won't need it. But if you do, then just take this particular sign up form and add it on your website as well. And this is where you would send people who want to sign up using the voucher code in the previous step. Right up at the top is where you name your package. And then when you're happy with everything, just come down and click save. I'll tell you that your package is now saved. Now that you've set up your package, you want to get the code to put the sign up form on your website. So come into view slash edit, choose sell online. And then this little bit of code has been put into the box because your package is complete and set up. Copy the code and then go to your website and paste it into your website in exactly the same way you would have done when integrating the login into your website. And this will now allow clients to fill in the form, sign themselves up, pay using the PayPal button that you integrated and then get the automated delivery of all of your packages, everything that you put in those groups on the schedule that you set up. And if they miss any payments or cancel their payment, then you can set it so that they get taken offline and no longer have access. So lots of flexibility, lots of power in these options and a huge amount of things you can do here to really scale up your business and to bring in a lot of people without having to constantly add them yourself.